exciting conclusion of this, right? Okay, so let's go back into uh, uh, document camera mode here. Okay, this was our momentum before before we had just the red guy moving along in purely the X direction, right? Okay, and so here is our red before, right, in the X direction, and we had no Y. So we think afterwards there's not going to be any Y momentum. But guess what? There was negative point zero one kilogram, and that's just because um, I'm not very good at this, right? I measured something wrong, or we're down at the limit of actually that's pretty darn good. That's like one part in a hundred, right? So that's essentially zero, right? Okay, and then let's add these guys up here. Um, one point six plus three point six nine. I get five point two nine kilograms centimeters per second so now that you know the, the it, it was this now it's this that's really pretty close right so it's like yeah we compare those guys right and then we can compare these guys and they should be about the same right if they're significantly off if it's more than like five or ten percent then just check all of your little measurements here make sure you counted the right the most common thing is people don't count the number of intervals correctly Right, it's the spaces between the dots you want to count, right? Um, or they just—they're not measuring these things, um, and so ultimately, what you want to end up with is this table, and then also somewhere show your calculations. The best thing is to do it like I did it—do the calculations somewhere else, um, and put the numbers cleanly in the table like that. Okay, uh, but that's the basic idea, um, and I think that's pretty much all it says, right? Turn in for credit your analyzed image, a neat data table with all the calculations you did, and um, there you go. And the, on the lab thing, it says put your calculations in the cells of the table. I'll give you an artistic um, license about that, right? Okay, but that's the sort of thing that you're going to get when you um, when you do the lab. Okay, you're going to be doing it in groups of two, exactly two. Uh, you can just change this to something else, right? Here, the positions point three four. You can just move it up and down. But you don't want to have a killer number of dots. You don't want five million dots, right? So, um, but make it uniquely yours. Make make your vector momentum lab different from mine and different from anyone else's. Uh, happy dot counting. I don't know what to say. What do I say? <laughs>